how do you sell, and that's the name of her talk, how do you sell without selling? How do you do that? You're, Janet's a client of yours too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A common client we have, Janet, he comes in to me for speech coaching. And I imagine he comes in for you for business coaching, right? He saw me do a talk on this, on one of my books called The Anti-Elevator Speech, out in Southfield. And he signed up for my consulting package, which is the intro consulting package, a couple hours. He came in for a couple hours. And when he's talking, he's really getting a lot out of it. And then somewhere in about in the middle, he said, but you know, Cliff, I saw your presentation, and you never sold anything. It, and I started laughing, at least inside. I didn't laugh straight in his face. I started laughing inside because that day, I had sold to 87% of the room. 87%. I tell that to other speakers and they think I'm lying to them. Because most speakers feel really comfortable if they sell 15% of the room. So I'm kind of laughing and she's going off about how, you know, you need to sell more, blah, 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 blah. And I stopped him and I said, okay, let's review. And I started going over the speech with him. And it turns out I had plugged them in 40 minutes six times. And he never noticed. He never noticed. He was in my office telling me I never sold. And in 40 minutes, I plugged six times. That's almost every eight minutes, right? How do I do it? This is a scene from Iron Man. You guys remember that movie? The blockbuster for 2008? Either that or that's uh, Downey going into rehab, one of two. <laughs> not sure which. But the real winner here is not Iron Man. The real winner here is Burger King. Do you have any idea how much they paid for that? <laughs> this was the equivalent of about three one minute Super Bowl commercials. You can't miss this scene. For those of you who don't know the movie, Robbie Downey Jr. becomes Iron Man. He just came out from being kidnapped by Al Qaeda or some Arab extreme group. And he gets home, the first thing he wants to do is a press conference and an American hamburger. Notice the term, an American hamburger. So they go get him an American hamburger, and right before he walks into the press conference, his, by the way, this guy's also the producer of the movie, he runs out, his handyman runs out and gives him a Burger King burger. That is huge. Companies pay way more money for product placement in movies than they do for commercials. Because product placement in movies works. And if you ever want to know who paid for it, you can see it up. I love Martha Stewart. If she's adding like chocolate to her mix, the box is, if the box is turned from the side, to the side where you can't see the label, nobody paid for that ad. If the box is facing you and it says Hershey's on it, you can bet she got some cash. These companies make so much money doing stuff like this that they actually get back the entire amount to make the movie before the movie even airs. That's the power of product placement. That's what I want to teach you guys how to do. Product placement in your talks. And if you've been watching real close, <laughs> How many times have I done that to you already? Anyone want to take a guess? It's a pretty good guess. Anyone want to take a little be better guess? I've actually done it to you six times already. And see, it's not noticeable. <clears throat> I just did it when I was talking about Janet. Or, or, I'm plugging on a bench. I'm plugging Manesh over here, too. I just mentioned that he has business consulting. That's a plug. It's a product placement. It's small, but it's there. I was just mentioning that Janik, after seeing my talk on my book, what have I just done? And I coach speakers. Notice I'm not driving this point down your throat. I'm the Burger King bag. 
Let's see how many more times I can do it before the end of this talk. <laughs> okay. If you do this well enough, I mean, how many times do you go see those speakers? They've got about an hour, and they give you about 40 minutes of real content, and then the last 20 minutes you can really just get up and walk off on because it's all just a big sell. Right? I'll talk for an hour and a half, and I'll sell for three minutes at the very, very end. And I'll sell 87% of the way. Matter of fact, twice, twice, I've sold to 100% of the room. I got those marked on the calendar. Does not happen. Does not happen. So, how can you do this? Let's talk to a couple people. Who gives presentations on a regular basis? Well, I know you do. <laughs> okay, what do you speak on? College planning. College planning. And what do you have? Now, are you, do you work for a college? No, I'm an independent uh, advisor. Okay, all right. And what kind of talks do you get? To uh, parents of a uh, college fund, I'm sure. All right, so a big room of parents. Yeah. And you talk about how to get like financial funding, stuff like that, how to keep them from going to a school. It's just a big party school. Stuff, <laughs> stuff like that. It's all the funding. Uh, all right. Do you have any products at all? Yes. What do you have? I have a couple books. And I have uh, different packages. Okay. What kind of packages? Tell me. Well, one package we have is called Strategic College Selection. Mm -hmm. It is a replacement for searching for scholarships because it will take you to where the money is and it will show the parent uh, which funding sources are best for their students so they have to spend their time going online and going to the library and where else to try. Specific source. Okay. And do you do that little speech you just told me during your speech? Uh, probably so. Yeah. And how many people fell asleep on that? I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm being as brutally honest as I can. Uh, I was I'm falling asleep on what you're yeah. saying. <laughs> <clears throat> because as soon as you went in and it sounded like a description of a commercial, we, we zoned out on it. Now I know there are a lot of parents that are, you have an interesting market because they are desperately trying to cut their costs. So, you know, they're probably paying a lot more attention to you than, you know, maybe Manesh and I when we have to go and do something. <laughs> but the point is that it still came off like a commercial. Now, what I want you to do instead, there's a couple ways you can start doing product placement. Try this. See if it doesn't help. Because remember, all you got to do is this, all you got to do is show it. You don't even have to talk about it. You just have to show it. If you're entertained, you can show it. If you can give an example of how you help somebody. Now, you, you probably have some of that stuff where you came in and these people were about to lose their entire life savings to a college and you helped them, right? You tell them a story. And you take your, you take your product, you hook you up. And then I applied chapter four in this book. And this is what I applied to that. Book goes down, never to be seen again. They don't have to know what else is there. Now they're listening to you tell about chapter four. They're interested in how you use chapter four to save that family a whole bunch of money, and they have seen the book. Is anyone, is anyone uh, counting yet? I've done this twice in a sentence, haven't I? And you're starting to catch on. <laughs> I've done this twice in a sentence. But it didn't seem like I was selling, did it? It didn't seem like it seemed like it was part of the speech. <clears throat> you see the difference, how that grabs people? And it also makes them feel like you're so confident in your product, you don't have to sell. It sells itself. Of course it does. It's a phenomenal product. You make a phenomenal product, right?